wonder what happened to Barb actually called. <laughs> okay. Well, we're actually live. <laughs> we're live. So, uh, hi, everybody. And uh, this is going to be a very interesting edition of uh, Gin and Spin here because my mom, not only is it interesting because mom's going to be on here, but it's going to be interesting because me and mom, who are not the world's most tech-savvy people, are trying to navigate... Uh, Recording this live, mom FaceTiming me on a laptop, and uh, gin drinking, and some yarn, and uh, uh, some weird camera angles. So we're trying to, I've got people lined up that actually we would like to do more official interviews, um, and excuse the mess you see over there, <laughs> more official interviews with people, and so mom is being wonderful and uh, letting me like ramble with her first so we can kind of get the kinks worked out of this. So without further ado, for those of you who did not know, my mom is uh, kind of our co-spinner here and she lives in Polly's Island and I live in Knoxville, but I think everybody already knows I live in Knoxville. So we're going to experiment with flipping the camera around so that we have mom. Mom is live and uh, so she can tell us what she's drinking and what she's been spinning and uh, all about the quilt behind her because there's a quilt behind her. So uh, here we go. Hold on, where's the right button? There's the right button. All right, so here is my mom, AKA Vicki Richardson. <laughs> I'm drinking water. Isn't that exciting? Oh, yeah. Mom is super exciting, like hitting that H2O hard. Yes, boy. I guess I'm unofficial speaker. Uh, no, oh, look. We can turn you up. Now you have more volume. Say, say something else exciting about your water. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, you yeah. Know, there you are. These days, due to the heat. <laughs> Mom works at Brook Green Gardens when she's not home uh, making yarn and putting up with weird things like this that her daughter requests her to do so uh she's hot and drinks lots of water come on what you could have at least like busted out some like sweet tea or something i mean water that's well that's true but you know water's pretty good so i need to drink it more yeah well i say this like i don't drink water like a crazy person all the rest of the time so anyhow you were telling me about this quilt behind your head and then we went live and i told you to be quiet <laughs> okay. Yeah, this quilt behind my head here, uh, a friend of mine gave it to me. We had a, a Gullah exhibit last year in the gallery at Brook Green Gardens, and um, she, I displayed many of her quilts. She's African-American, and we were doing this Gullah thing, and she made these beautiful little wall hangings. It looks like, uh, here you can lose me, but it looks like... Uh, a bunch of fish. Yeah, no, we actually, believe it or not, can see them. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's just lovely what she did, and she was just so sweet. She said that the Lord gave her a talent, and she was meant to share it, and she wanted me to have that. So yeah. she gift. Well, that is awesome. I know uh, our family is typically lucky that people like to give us cool things like that. So I still have that angel ornament. That wasn't that the story that I was like four and we were on some sort of train. And what was the deal with the angel ornament? A lady in the um, food car of the train was making them as ornaments for Christmas. Well, they were yarn themed, right? Like how is it? It was like tatted or something. I don't even know like what the deal was with it. And she, you were just little, and she thought you were cute, and she gave it to you. Awesome. So. Yep. So uh, all the, and now people randomly give our girls things. So uh, getting random gifts due to cuteness runs in the family. Yeah, it pays to be cute. You know? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, what have uh, now that we know what you've been drinking? Uh, you're drinking. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I drink water, because I'm a little whippy, but I don't drink this water. <laughs> and I know Mom's always famous for saying people wanted to know what drugs she was on, and she was like, no, nah, I'm strange enough, normal, uh, sober, which which is true. So uh, that's why we don't do drugs in this family, because we're weird enough sober. Yeah, having a good enough time without them. We don't need <laughs> them. <laughs> All right, well, uh, when when you're not hitting that water real hard, what have you been spinning? Oh, I've been spinning. I guess I need to turn this around, Miss Techie. Oh, sure. No, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here for folks, uh, if I can make it work. Oh, don't look at my dirty laundry. Um, yeah, well, I've been working on the um, new fall colors. Oh, good. You're working on the one that's not the one I'm working on, so we can show two different colors. So, yay. Good. Well, this is what I'm spinning right now. 
But last night, I uh, double-plied this. Ooh, which is what I'm working on. I really am digging both of these. So if right. you're wondering, this starts out like this, and then it ends up like that, except not on a computer screen. Well, that is super pretty. A little weird, I guess. Could look a little yellower than it is, but yeah, it's really got some pretty colors in it. Yeah, and I'm I'm really enjoying uh, enjoying these. So, like I said, this is what we do uh, long distance. We've got the long distance spinning happening. Mom's got the Lewitt S17 that y'all have heard about so much. I feel like I talk about this wheel, and every time I'm making a video about when I started spinning, and uh, it's really fantastic too. So I know I'm always talking about the spin illusions, but I loved this one, and the reason I don't have it is because it lives with mom. So um, also a fantastic wheel. It's got a good strong uptake and makes beautiful yarn and is portable and uh, simple and doesn't fall apart. So yay, Lewitt. Yeah, I see. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I don't know how well that'll work. Oh, yeah, we... Oh, yeah, look, see, it's so simple, you can do it. <laughs> do it drinking water with one hand, I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to know where the water glass is at the moment. Yep, very cool. Well, let's see, what else were we going to ask you about today? Ooh, 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 I had a thing to show you, so you have to flip around, and now, uh, hold on, now I have to, we have to do camera adjustments so that I can show you stuff. Hold on. There. All right, well, actually, I think I'm just going to keep the camera here and I may have to show you and our viewers at home separately. So dad was up the other weekend and you know he's friends with the guy who uh like they collect knives and like old antiques and such. Mm -hmm. And so we went to his shop and so dad of course had a random dad gift and you know random dad gifts can either be like the coolest thing ever or like oh wow that that's interesting. And, and he knows this, too, so, like, we're not hurting Dad's feelings because, like, he knows this is how it goes, too. But this time, Dad, re the random Dad gift really knocked it out of the park. You'll never guess what, uh, let's see, I have to figure out how. Okay, I'm going to show Mom if I can get this in front of the camera. Do you see what this is? Okay, I'm showing Mom, and I'll show all of you at home. Oh! Ooh, uh, ah. It's either a juice harp or a Celtic brooch. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Viking brooch, which I'm going to have to get some better light to uh, here, show everybody at home. But it actually, and I'll take pictures and put it on Instagram, of course. But this is apparently a legit, like, dug out of the ground copper Viking brooch. Oh, it's not even a reproduction. No, no, like it's in it's in such good condition. I like can't even. Deal. Hold on, there's the camera. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you better pictures later. But, um, Are you kidding me? That thing's in great condition. Yeah, so and, uh, it, it's got like some etching on it and like this cool way it's held on there. And before I had kids, I could have said smart things about this with like actual terms and stuff. But since having children, that has all escaped me. So I'm going to, I have an anthropology an art history degree for those of you who don't know. So since my brain is now turned to mush, I'm just going to read you what this card says. It says, Viking Pinacular or Omega Brooch, circa 800 to 1000 AD, found in Lavinia off the Baltic coast. Wow. So that's what it says. Hey, we'll hold this over here for you to see. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So anyhow, that was my random... Uh, because our whole family has to be eccentric, random dad gift. And um, so obviously I love it. And his thoughts here were that we, he heard that we wanted to do an Outlander, like knit along or whatever. And obviously Outlander was not set during the Viking times, but we do, I promised him it would be part of, ooh, yes, there's Outlander for those of you who aren't giant nerds. Um, <laughs> our favorite trashy romance novel. Actually, that one we can say unofficially inspired my uh, one of my original colorways, the pink one everyone loves, trashy romance novel. Uh, which is speaking of dad. What? Well, actually, we can't say what speaking of dad calls trashy romance novels. Trashy romance novel is the edited version <laughs> of what dad calls romance novels. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> So, so so good times, but Outlander is an excellent series, and I think we should do a knit-along. And Mom doesn't knit or crochet, so it's kind of bad that I'm asking her opinion on this. But I'm thinking about, there is a knitter who is on Ravelry, whose name has escaped me, that actually has some Outlander-inspired knits. 
And, um, so yeah, we may, what do, what do you think we should get here? I'm going to try to move the camera. Okay, mom, you're not on the camera anymore, so you can, like, pick your teeth or something. But, uh, I'm going to try to put the camera on me actually spinning something. And, uh, you can still talk. We can still hear you. But what do you think about doing a, let's see, like a knit, a knit along for, like, a, a shawl or something that's Outlander inspired. Do you think that would be oh, a hit? I think it sounds great because I love the costuming on the show Outlander. And anytime I've seen Outlander knitted things, you know, inspired by the show, I really think they're cool. And uh, you know me, I've often used shawls and things like that and the fingerless gloves. So, um, they fit right in. I really think they look great. Well, that is definitely what I would like to do. And if I swear I need like a guitar stand or something. I even have a guitar stand. Like nothing is ever good for me to be able to get the stupid camera where I can spin and uh, talk at the same time. So I don't know. I'm always trying to find like a better camera angle. And it just, it never wants to stay. It's super aggravating. So we may have to cut this edition short until I can figure out something that will hold this camera where I can, uh, I usually end up having to like tie it to a chair and, uh, fire pot with some sand in it or something. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, is that I've got this big phone, which is nice, but, uh, then it, it like it's top heavy and it just never wants to stay. So let's see if I can, uh, here, switch the camera around. Like I said, I apologize for all these scary Blair Witch angles of this particular episode. This was kind of our great experiment here. So, uh, I, I, this is probably a good time to mention that our unofficial... Oh, hey, here we go. We'll just go for the old between-the-knees camera angle. That's always a good one, right? <laughs> um, is unofficially brought to you by what I'm drinking, which is definitely more exciting than what Mom's drinking, is the... Wait for it. The Striped Pig, which gin with uh, lavender and orange peel, and it's magical. You would like it. But it's from Charleston, so next time I'm in Charleston, they do, like, tours, and this I plan on kidnapping Aunt Sue, and we're going to go, uh, you know, taste some gin. And it's really good. I haven't had a... Uh, haven't had a drink since I think last time I was doing one of these. So this is the, let's see if this will work, the Polywog, which I had taken apart earlier, so I'm having to get it all put back together. The Polywog spinning wheel. And this, of course, is not wanting to work with this camera angle. This is going to be the absolute biggest failure of a uh, gin and spin we've ever had. And I promise I haven't even had any of the gin yet. Like, I just can't get this camera to stay anywhere. Here we go. You can kind of see what I'm doing. But these are the fall colors that, like I said, we were just talking about. That is what the two-ply mom has ended up with. And, yeah, I'm very unhappy with this camera angle. So we might have to call it call it quits, but you got to see my cool Viking brooch. And you got to see my cool mom. And uh, this is what I'm making. I just can't get the camera to stay where you can actually see me make it. But uh, that, that's what's up. So we'll have to figure out some way to rig this camera. I need it where I can pivot it so that we can talk to people, but then also have somewhere, like, reliable for it to stay. So, I don't know. If you have any uh, great advice, stay tuned. But, uh, anyhow, th we will probably get Mom back on here later at another time when I've got my act together. But in the meantime, everybody say thanks, Mom, for getting on here and talking about Outlander with us. Which, why do you like Outlander while I have you on here? W what is it about a Outlander that's so fantastic that uh, those people who have not read or watched it should get excited about this knit-along? Well, first, obvious, hunk of hunk of burn and love Jamie Frazier that you have to just love. But, you know, the fun thing I like about Outlander is even the men in our family have loved the books. It's just a great adventure story, and I love the element of going back into time because I like history. Of course, it's in Scotland, so that's always fun. But, uh, yeah, I just love everything about it. It's a really good story. Yep, so if you're a reader, hold up the book, Mom. Here. here. Oh, oh, here book. So if you're a reader, you got to go get this book. They should have a million used copies of it anywhere. And if you're not a reader, because uh, it's like the world's biggest book, you can watch the Stars series, which uh, there's already three seasons out. I think the, the next one's starting up soon. 
All right, I think that's all I can handle until I figure out something better for this stupid uh, selfie stick with a camera on it. So anyhow, thanks, Mom. Of a boom or a microphone stand or something. Yeah, well, like I said, somebody recommended a guitar stand, and then Philip was like, well, I have a guitar stand. And then I found his guitar stand, and it doesn't have, like, the clip thing on it that would be necessary. So I don't know. We'll figure something out. If not, we'll get some duct tape after it. <laughs> All right. That'll work. Yeah. Bye, Mom. <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs>